refugees really make up a, a, a little over a third of our total employee base, um, and they are responsible for doing some of the hardest lifting in the hotel. Um, they provide the clean rooms, the linen and laundry that goes in those rooms, um, as well as some of the back of the house kitchen supplies. And, and really, without those functions performed in the hotel, we'd, we'd be unable to operate in many cases. The New Americans provide a service that we often can't find um, others in our community to provide, um, which are those intensely labor heavy jobs um, that oftentimes aren't at the top of the pay scale. Um, and they are willing and able to do those jobs. But since almost the beginning, uh, New Americans have made up uh, around 60%, 65% of our workforce. And that's remained consistent throughout the years from 1998 until today. What would this business be without 65% of our team? Well, I mean, you can only imagine. We didn't set out to be an employer of immigrants. We're an employer. We have a job to do and, and uh, just like any other business and uh, we have to hire the best qualified applicant. This is our home now um, and uh, we're really thankful, honestly, for uh, for getting the opportunity to come here and uh, getting a second chance. Um, you know, to, to you know to have to have a better life. Well, they're vital to our business right now. We got about 230 people that work for environmental services, and about 80 percent are new Americans. To tell you the truth, at first I was against hiring new Americans, um, very much against it. But now um, they've proven to me that they do a good job and that they're you can trust them and they're loyal and they've turned me completely around. So between September of 2015 and September of 2016, we increased net ads over 10,000 new people in the Fargo-Moorhead area, which is really incredible. But at the same time, we created almost 11,000 jobs. So we're still running that negative and we're not gonna be able to continue that growth if we don't have the workforce to do it. In the corner. January 1996, I, I, I immigrated in the United States. I had 60 bucks in my pocket. I didn't know nobody here. So when I told my parents I'm going in the United States, they thought I'm crazy. They're like, well, how, you don't speak the language. Uh, you don't have any money. You don't know how, how you, you know, how you just think, you know, you're gonna go there. To succeed, you have to risk. This community gave me so much. I believe strongly in, in, in uh, give back to community. A lot of us remember how it was back home and um, during the bad times and therefore we're very, we're very thankful actually to be here and that we shouldn't be judged on you know, the bad few because th those exist in every single race. This building, it's worth a million and a half. This chance was given to me people who are from this community. It was given to me, it w they held my hands they worked with me. They showed me around. I would not know everything. I was given this opportunity, and I believe in this community. I believe in this community. I have faith in this community. I know um, this community have a lot to offer. Fargo has a lot to offer. <laughs>